Welcome back to the health education class you wish you had when you were in high school. Today we're going to talk about what your ovaries are actually attached to. This is the picture that you're used to seeing. And we've talked about before that this is kind of like a splayed out picture. In reality, your ovaries and your uterus are all like slumped down into your pelvis. But this is what we're used to seeing. So we're used to seeing that your ovary is attached to your uterus. So while this is true, you do have a ligament that connects the ovary to the uterus. The much more important ligament is this one right here. We call this the IP ligament also known as the suspensory ligament of the ovary. This is what attaches your ovary to your abdominal sidewall, and this is where your ovary is getting the majority of its blood supply from. Now what happens when we do a hysterectomy where we remove the uterus, what we're doing is we're cutting this ligament right here, but we're leaving this one over here alone. So your ovaries are basically still in the same place as they were before, and you are still ovulating from them. When you ovulate every month and you no longer have a uterus and fallopian tube, there's no fallopian tube to grab up that egg. So that egg just goes into your abdominal cavity and just kind of goes and disintegrates. 